Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. And thank you to those of you who have supported my channel by liking and subscribing. Your support allows me to continue to bring you fountain pen reviews as I'm unsponsored on this channel, so thanks. Today's fountain pen is a limited edition version of the fountain pen that I've already reviewed, Moonman P135. This is the one I reviewed and is in a burgundy color, but it also comes in black and dark blue, each with different cap stampings. But the new one has some notable changes and enhanced features, most notably the color, which I'll describe as coral pink. The limited edition part is that Moonman, which seems to be changing their name to Mojito or Mojang or something like that, have said that they only made 2021 of these pens. I tend to be rather cynical about stuff like that, since Jinhao stamped 18 karat gold plate on their steel nibs for years. Oh no, Eddie. I got this pen for my wife for Valentine's Day, and it came in this lovely matching box. She hasn't been able to use it because when I gave it to her, I took her to our local fountain pen store to pick out a matching ink. The ink she chose for this pen is perfect, J Urbain Rouge Hematite. But we had to order it, and two months later it still hasn't arrived. So I picked up a small bottle of J Urbain Rouge Carubier, and although it doesn't have the shimmer that Wynn likes in the hematite, it's almost a perfect match for this pen. The quicker I review this pen, the quicker Wynn will be able to finally write with it. So let's review this puppy right now. <laughs> And it's yet another NPD, New Pen Day. Only this is two new pens, and neither of them are for me. One is a late Valentine's Day present for my wife, and one is an early birthday present for a neighbor. So let's see what's in this Chinese packet. another box a moon man let's feel the temperature of writing first shall we this is a limited edition it's probably not numbered and probably not even limited but they call it a limited edition of a pen that I already reviewed but it is a new version of it and this is the Moonman P135. I have the maroon version of this. And here it is. This is in red. Well, it looked red in the advertisement. The box looked red. The box looks redder than that. But it looks more orange to me. But this is like rose gold in the cap. And it has this really nice jewel on the top, vinyl. Of course, this pen is a an homage, you know, shall we say, of the Moon Blanc. Sorry, the Mont Blanc. <laughs> Le Petit Prince. I hope she likes this. It's a nice presentation box for Valentine's Day. Better late than never. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned, as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. As I said in the introduction, I've already reviewed the Moonman P135 in this burgundy model. The P135 is an homage to the Mont Blanc Le Petit Prince, and the P135 comes in three colors. This burgundy, a black, and a deep blue. And each one of those colors sports a different stamping pattern on the cap, from the waves and sun and soaring eagle on this burgundy model, to the different glyphs on the black and the blue. This limited edition version is still available on Etsy and eBay for slightly more than the regular versions and sports some interesting differences. The most obvious difference is the color. 
I don't know how well this will translate on camera, but this isn't red. It's more like a salmon pink. One seller is calling it coral, so that's what I'm going to call it. It is a warm color and nicely enhanced by the other main color difference. The metal parts on this pen are all in a rose gold colored plating. It comes in this handsome presentation box which matches the color of the pen very nicely. From the top we see another difference from the standard edition. Uh, this matched color transparent acrylic faceted jewel on the top of the finial is very very nice and one that Wynn really adores. It's also notable because of how much better this finial is than the standard edition. Look at my P135 Burgundy. I was critical of the mother of toilet seat quality of this cap finial that looks like a piece of mother of pearl with cataracts. Maybe you're ready for a thicker set. Oh, oh no, no, I, I, I think the hill kick. <laughs> Maybe we should make sure. Let's check it out. Nice frames. The jeweled finial, by contrast, is wonderful. The caps are the same, except for the lovely rose gold treatment and the stamp symbols. Some of the advertising mentions these Chinese symbols representing good luck. Perhaps some of my viewers fluent in Chinese might be able to help translate some of these characters. They are very attractive and deeply stamped. You can feel that texture. The clip is the very same, very stiff clip from the standard model. And the cap bands are the same with Moon Man stamped in three times. There's a slight step down to the barrel, uh, which is injection molded plastic and tapers down slightly to the end finial which is a bullet shaped metal faux blind cap. This is of course not a piston filler but a cartridge converter. The cap unscrews with one full turn to reveal a tapering section of the same colored plastic as the barrel and that has two rose gold metal rings, one separating the section from the barrel and the other with a slight flare towards the number five size steel nib. This is the other main difference from the standard edition. This pen only comes in extra fine. The fine nib in the standard edition is a mini Fude or Waverly style nib with the characteristic slight upturn, uh, giving it some very subtle line variation. The extra fine doesn't do that. Let's take a closer look at this nib. It's identical to the standard except for the EF marking and being rose gold. I hope, dear viewer, that you are smart enough to understand that this isn't even close to being real rose gold. So from here on, I'll simply say rose gold and you won't correct me or think you're getting rose gold on a $30 pen. You idiot. Enough said. Enough said. The nib and the feed are part of a nib assembly that unscrews easily, and that is a plastic feed. The section unscrews to reveal an included standard international converter that has Moon Man branding and rose gold hardware. In fact, all of the hardware on this pen, from the inside screw threads to the nib, and the end finial, the converter, and the end of the section are rose gold. I've seen other pens where the outside is gold, but the inside is just chrome. So this is a really nice touch. And the inside of the cap has a cap liner bolted into it. The cap posts deeply and securely. And even though the cap is heavy relative to the rest of the pen, it doesn't significantly alter the balance in the hand. And I prefer to write with this pen posted. Besides, it's so pretty to see that jeweled cap finial while you're right. Unposted, the pen is plenty long enough to write with and nicely balanced. The cap threads here are very smooth and unobtrusive. 
I bought this pen on eBay for $29.88 US with the gift box option. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Moonman P135 Coral with the Burgundy P135, a Jinhao 85, a Parker Sonnet, and a Pilot Metropolitan. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. And the winner of the posting contest has to go to the Parker Sonnet. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Moon Man P135 Coral Limited Edition and it has an extra fine steel nib And the ink today is J Urbain, or as my pen store guy says, oh, J Herbin. Yeah, we got that. Minky. What? You said Minky. That is correct, yes. Chimpanzee Minky. Uh, rouge. Carub. Yeah or Caribier. And here are some close matches to the Rouge Caribier uh, from inkswatch.com. And let's check the wetness. This pen is very, very wet. And the pen is very, very smooth. Surprisingly smooth for an extra fine. In fact, this is probably the smoothest extra fine nib I've ever experienced. Whenever I have an EF in my hand, I'm expecting it to be scratchy. So this was a pleasant surprise. As to line variation, well, this is a very stiff nib. So I wouldn't recommend it at all. This line is 0.3 millimeters in thickness, which makes it a Western double XF or a Japanese XF. Extra fine. And for our quote, And some reverse writing. It gets very, very fine and very, very dry. It's not scratchy though, surprisingly. And some quick writing. Now there's a couple of missed beats there, but it actually keeps up pretty good. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, the size, shape, and weight of this pen has not changed from the standard model that I liked so much. In fact, the P135 Burgundy made my top fountain pens of 2020 list. A good part of that was the fine mini Fude nib on this Burgundy model. But this coral version 
with its extra fine nib, is remarkably smooth and wet. It makes a much thinner line than my preference, but Wynn has written with it and she just loves it. It has terrific balance. Even though it is on the slim side, it does carry some heft to it. And it's not a heavy pen. Um, well, it might be on the heavy side, but it's certainly balanced well enough that it just feels substantial in the hand rather than a heavy pen. The cap finial is a huge improvement uh, over the standard model and the rose gold furniture on this pen matches the coral salmon pink color of the pen very very nicely and this is a fantastic uh, matching color ink right here in the uh, Jay Urbain Rouge Carubier so with this matching ink I think this pen is a real winner I can't think of any negatives about this pen at $30 US, it is a bargain at twice the price, as my friend Ron likes to say. I can't wait for the Rouge Hematite to arrive to give Wynn a little sparkle in her writing. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote. I made this.